going on guys beastly gamer here welcome back to the beastly gamer channel and a brand new video talking more and more about people making poor decisions in the world usually involving video games and this is a really horrible story from south africa and i would like to frame it like this be careful of the things that you do sometimes harebrained decisions can cost you a big chunk of your life uh, there are people out there who pull guns on people and just make stupid choices that could cost you your life or cost you your life in prison. And I'm sure that you'd rather think about it now than think about it for the rest of your life as you sit and rot away in a cell. And that's exactly what's going to happen in this situation. I'll drop a link in the description. Armed bookkeeper robbed woman of PlayStation. This happened in Cape Town, South Africa. A bookkeeper was jailed for 26 years on Tuesday for forcing his way into a home with a semi-automatic pistol loaded with only one round of ammunition to rob a woman occupant of a computer monitor and a Sony PlayStation. Patrick Bonsois, 37, appeared in a Goodward Regional Court before Court Magistrate Constance Nuzini. He was charged with robbery with aggravating circumstances, the illegal possession of a prohibited firearm, the unlawful possession of ammunition, and with pointing the firearm at a victim in the Cape Town suburb of Erlice River two years ago. The magistrate said that Bonsoir had maintained his innocence throughout the protracted trial, and only after being found guilty had he expressed regret for the incident and taken full responsibility for it. She said he had pleaded not guilty to the charges, and by doing so had caused the victims and other witnesses of the incident the trauma of having to face him in court and testify against him. Quote, You had the opportunity to plead guilty and spare the witness the ordeal of attending the proceedings, but you did not do so. What happened to the victim in her own house that day was the most unpleasant experience for her. She tried to prevent you from entering her home, but you forced your way in, and the fact that you were armed indicates the incident was planned, end quote. Bonsoir qualified for the prescribed minimum sentence of 15 years for both the armed robbery and possession of a prohibited semi-automatic pistol. However, defense attorney Theophilus Swartz urged the court to rule that his age and the fact that he was a first-time offender were substantial and compelling circumstances justifying a lesser sentence. The magistrate said she agreed with the prosecutor that such circumstances, quote, did not exist, end quote. She said the court had to avoid ruling in favor of substantial and compelling circumstances to avoid minimum sentences for, quote, flimsy reasons, end quote. She added, quote, the victim was minding her own business in her own home when he pointed a firearm at her. It is evidence that you are truly committed to perpetrating the armed robbery, end quote. She said the high level of the violent crime posed a threat to the country's democracy and the respect for the law had to be restored. Quote, people who make themselves guilty of serious offenses have to be dealt with harshly, end quote. That's what she said, and she was true. Now, this is the last thing the judge told him. She said, quote, you have placed yourself in your current predicament, and you have yourself to blame, end quote. She's totally right, man. I don't know how this guy's 37 years old. He got 26 years for breaking in somebody's house, armed robbery, stealing a damn computer monitor and a PlayStation, probably because he is addicted to some kind of drug in South Africa. I know this is not really for my subscribers, but you might know somebody who's out there, you know, doing questionable things. Talk to them. Do everything you can to help out the people in your life, man. It's never worth it to go out there and try to take something from somebody. I mean, you could literally go out to do something foolish and never come home again. It happens all the time. Or you could be like this dummy in South Africa who wants to steal a computer monitor, not the computer, and a PlayStation two years ago. In South Africa, now he's serving 26 years because they don't fuck around down there. I mean, that's hardcore. You steal something like that here, you're going to get a year. You're going to get two years. But down there, you know, there's lots of aspects of what he did that was against, I guess, ordinances and laws. Having an unregistered gun, having ammunition, all these things were all against him. Pointing the gun, the robbery itself, the breaking and entering, all that shit. 26 years. Let that be a cautionary tale. Hope you guys are out there on the up and up, obeying the laws and being good beastly gamers. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.